Hello everyone and welcome to Wednesday's edition of Daily Dokkan. First of all, happy birthday Dokkan! <laughs> it's the birthday, I'm not going to sing, because I don't sing. Look at that, look, we've got so much stuff, it's the birthday, man. I woke up to birthday presents. Now let's have a look at this, of course. It's the one year anniversary, we all know this. Everyone has been thanked yesterday, we all got our free Spirit Bomb Goku that has already been up to you are. Yesterday we got another one, today we got 30 stones and we got another Goku card. Which is pretty cool. But of course, this is Wissende. What I'm going to do is, because we've got a stack of stones, I'm not going to do that multi-summon. I think that's a bit of a waste of time actually, I think they could have given, maybe give us a free multi-summon. Come on. But hey, that's another story. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do one of our Super Saiyan 2 Carnival pools. And then we will build our Wissende team from the colour we get from here. The good thing is we know it will be a colour. There's not going to be any rainbow teams today. So, can't. I think I'll do this one like the Macho Man. Yeah, I'm going to go and kiss the finger. Oh, yeah. Dig it. Where's it going? Psh, psh, psh. Poop. It's going to be poop. 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 So it's a Vidal. Today's team will be an all blue team, aka agile type. So with the anniversary, we have got anniversary events now. You can get a platinum turtle shell, as you can see there. It gives you an enormous EXP boost in training, so get them done every day. You can get Hercule statues daily at the moment. We've got a whole load of other stuff, but all the Awakening Medal events are back. But we are going to be going to the Adventure of Gratitude. And we're going to try and get ourselves a cheeky little monkey, Goku. So we've got to do this on two levels. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to skip through it on this normal one, because it's there's not much to it. And then we will come back and do the hard, Z hard version of this level with our all blue team, because I promise you, it's going to be worth it. But back soon. Hey, my name's Charles Rackman, pro wrestler extraordinaire. And if you're not watching Stevie's Daily Boom for your gaming content, then you are nothing but a jabroni. Hit that subscribe button now. And we're back. So I have rushed through the normal one because it is just a normal level, as you may have assumed by the word normal. Come on, Stevie, it's Wednesday. People know this. Who are we going to pick for all blue? So I think we're going to go with the Genki Dama SSR. I'm not even going to look through the team. But I'm just going to do it. So I'm honestly not using this team. You might find this team a bit comical, but they all link amazingly. It was basically a Dragon Ball Saga team I've been working on on the tablet. Just a little experimenting. So we'll get rid of this team and we will build our all blue team. So we will have... Here's the team, everyone. As you can see, I don't have much choice when it comes to Agile types. So we went with our Super Saiyan Bardog up front. Key plus one to Agile types. <sighs> Let's just hope we get some good stuff. Monsters are born. I've never used that card yet. I basically just leveled it and didn't do anything with it. This could be really bad. So, I'm not going to say what happens here. I'm not going to spoil the surprise. I played through this on my phone earlier. I have already maxed out my little monkey, Kid Goku. The reason I maxed it out so fast, I will tell you after this, of course. I don't want to spoil any potential surprises if you've not played this already. I don't know why I'm doing that with my eyebrows. I seen a girl on YouTube the other day and she was like, I can do this with my eyebrows and I'm totally unique because of it. I was like, no. I can do that too. I'm getting distracted, everyone. I do apologise. Let's make our way to Goku. Bulma, I hope it's just Goku. When I did this the first time on hard, it was just Goku. I mean, it was just Goku. Here we go. Now, this is what I was wanting. Of course, it could mean we were in a lot of trouble. But it could mean that we're going to have some fun. Did I even select any support items? Oh, man. This could be really bad. So, one thing I will tell you about the boss we're fighting at the moment, which may seem like a little cute little Goku, is he has a second form. This is not even his final form. 
It's the paper, rock, scissors finisher that he does. So, um, I think we'll keep the blues. I'm going to, I think we're going to need them. You're not going for your Genki Dama. Oh crap. Oh, I hate it when that happens. We've got to use Bojack. A poopy move. Bojack. I wonder if you can hear the people outside. There's a workman outside. There he is. Oh, the moon is out. Oh, oh. Great ape. Uh. I got a bit excited earlier on. I thought this meant that the Great Bait form is unlocked in the game now. Apparently it's not. And the Kid Goku does not turn Great Ape either. But I think we're just going to take him down with one Spirit Bomb. I think if there's one thing a Spirit Bomb can do, it is take out a Great Ape. That's one thing the series has taught me. Trunks, just take that down. Let's see how we do. Come on everyone, lend me your power! <laughs> Spirit Bomb for the win! Although he just takes a little bit of key off of Gotens to finish him off, but overall, Spirit Bomb! Raise your hands, everyone. Throw that sucker down. And there we go. Two battle cards for that. That's me. I've got three of them. So, the reason you need to collect the battle cards for this character is the tricky little monkey, his special attack has a limit, so to say. You do not get the rock, paper, scissors attack until his special attack is up to, no, over five. So you have to get basically six or over before you get the scissors, paper, stone thingy move that he does. It's really quite cool. I got my hopes up initially this morning. I thought it meant we were getting Great Ape and he was going to turn Great Ape after five key was collected. But no, Stevie was just being stupid and jumping the gun. We still need to wait for the Great Ape transformations to roll out in global. It is a wait that will be worth it. Now I'm going to go and stop filming now because there's all sorts of people making all sorts of noises out there and out there. And I've got some more games to play, which will be on the channel later today. See you later.